Leaders and social organizations representatives are using a legal action to force the Colombian state to protect their lives. This legal action is an alternative to protect themselves, although their rights are protected in the constitutional, but are constantly violated. Let's have a look. Mauricio, a social leader, defender of the human rights and politician tells us that he has received many threats since he was a college student and he had to exile during the peace process and the short-lived democratic environment he ran to be a town councillor, which led to further threats and harassment. They make the situation really difficult for those of us who are human rights defenders, for those of us who think differently, for those of us who try to build a counter-political proposal in a country where the social rule of law freedom of opinion, a whole series of things is supposedly enshrined, but actually those are only valid on paper, but at the time of exercise by people, it is a mess and it is so dangerous that it costs us our lives. Intimidation can happen in different ways. When they are going to tell us the first security measures, it is incredible that one receives a real call from the National Protection Unit and they call and ask you what size of bulletproof vest you are. In Colombia, you do not know if it is a threat or if it is for our own protection. According to the NGO, We Are Defenders, from January to September 2020, there were 135 murders, which is why more than 10 social leaders and 189 organizations that defend human rights filed a protection action to guarantee their rights to live and work. The filed actions are now under the Constitutional Court for review. All the people filing actions, plaintiffs, are seeking to declare that there is a total disrespect for the Constitution because of the many attacks on human rights defenders, especially those who are living in the territories, who are defending the environment, who are opposing mega projects, which are in areas replacement. Around 20 leaders and human rights defenders have been murdered in Colombia so far in 2021. The peace agreement that Duque's administration has not complied with in its implementation was hoped to bring peace to the Colombian rural area. Added to this breach is that the current security policy in the territories has not allowed the protection of the communities or their leaders, hence the importance of this protection that they are demanding. The problem of aggressions is not an individual problem, but it is a structural problem that also requires a structural solutions. So we hope to reach the Constitutional Court for the Declaration of Unconstitutional State of Affairs so that greater monitoring mechanisms can be created for the protection of social leaders so that the final peace agreement can be fulfilled in the terms of security guarantees for human rights defenders. While the court's determination regarding guardianship was known, the peasant leader, politician and human rights defender, Jordan Eduardo Ghetto, fell victim to the bullets, murdered in the department of Cauca municipality of Toribio, one of the Colombian departments with the largest number of massacres last year, with a total of 14, preceded by Antioquia with 21, according to the Institute of Studies for the Development and Peace. Hernandario Tobar, Telesur, Bogotá, Colombia.